Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about personal protection and safety while you're spraying any of the coatings or anything like that that we do here in our shop. Uh, a lot of the times, I know you've probably seen us with... Glass door. A lot of the times, I know you've probably seen us with um, talking and we're spraying or we're in the booth or something like that. So of course, um, as you can probably tell, Whenever I'm talking, you can hear it and, and everything is working great. But whenever we start to put a lot of our respirators on and stuff like that, we can't quite talk as much. So of course, at that point, then it makes it to where um, your guy, you guys can't hear us. And so it makes it to where, of course, you don't know what we're saying. So um, every time, whenever we're spraying our uh, paints or primers or clear coats or anything like that that we're doing um, in the booth or even uh, in here a lot whenever we're doing like a lot of our um, production we're always making sure that we try to wear our respirators to make sure that everything is as safe as possible so kind of wanted to do a quick little video on what we use and what you might need as far as personal protection for anything that you're doing with the hydrographics related uh, components so um, of course the biggest thing is is um, respirator is going to be number one um, these respirators these are just the standard uh, um, respirators that any body shop would use for uh, painting now they do make a couple of different kinds of actual filters so this one is an organic filter and then they also make some that are just more like a dust filter and normally those are like a round and um, you definitely want to make sure that whenever you're buying whatever filter that you have you want to make sure that it is specifically for whatever you're spraying so like in this case organic vapors we are going to use uh, this type of cartridge right here uh, you can use this same exact uh, mask itself but use it in like if you're uh, sanding bondo or if you're sanding you know um, a car or something like that and you just have dust uh, that may take a different filter so you definitely want to check on either 3m's website or check with your local vendor and make sure you get the proper um, uh, filters for the respirator that you're using you definitely want to make sure they are replaceable so definitely uh, always have a backup on hand because these do go out you do have a pre-filter in here to catch most of the dust so you can actually um, replace those and then of course once the cartridge goes bad it does have most of the time an expiration date or something like that on it to let you know that if you're past that uh, you probably need to order a new one as well as uh, I think these things have an actual hour rating on them that you're supposed to go by um, so you definitely want to make sure that you stay up and within all of the safety measures for the mask itself and of course the instructions will tell you on something like that so uh, a lot of the times this is probably going to be the cheapest most inexpensive way of getting a mask and getting yourself protected from any of the paints clear coats primers things like that that you'd spray for the hydrographics but um, it's a great mask to start out with and i used to wear these a lot but i've actually grown grown really fond of a mask like this now this is probably about two to three times more expensive uh, about I want to say the last time I looked at it, it was about $150, $200, or something like that. Um, don't quote me on that, but uh, somewhere around in that area. But the really nice thing that I like about this is, is that, uh, of course, we do a lot of wheels. We do a lot of um, weird shapes and things like that. And so a lot of the times whenever you're painting uh, a shape that's really odd like that, what will happen is, is you get a lot of the overspray that will hit the part and it'll literally turn right back around and hit you right in the face. Um, that's especially common with like wheels. So whenever you're shooting the side of a wheel or something like that, the air will come around the, the barrel of the wheel and come right back out. And so um, what I really like about this right here is that it's an entire face shield. And so um, versus like this right here, you're, you're covered with your breathing but with this one right here, you're covered with your entire face. So it makes it a lot nicer because then if something comes in, it doesn't get in your eyes and stuff like that. And it really helps protect a lot more. Also, I do like it because it's got a six point harness on it instead of a pretty much like a, a three point harness right here because you have your two points here and then you have 
this one that goes around the back of your neck versus this right here, looking at it, you actually have the two up top, the two on the sides, and you have the two on the back of the bottom here. So then that way it helps keep everything um, a lot more, a lot more controlled going around your head. And so it makes it a lot nicer because you're not having to pull as tight to keep everything nice and tight on your mask and on your face itself to give you a good seal all the way around your face. Um, I started using these uh, uh, a few years ago and I've really grown to enjoy them uh, especially I, I see a lot of people do it with like even for uh, sandblasting and like outside blasting and all that it makes it really nice because then of course you can wear this and you have the proper respirators uh, filters and all that and then if something comes up and hits your face it actually just hits the mask and so another thing that's nice is is that like with this one right here you do have an actual pull tab that you can replace the mask uh, lens itself. So then that way you can see this one's getting pretty dirty. Uh, it's probably about time to change it, but we can go ahead and Black. replace Black. this, clean it all off, and then we have a brand new lens that we can see out of and all of that. So um, the biggest thing is though, is that with, uh, with this mask right here, it takes the exact same cartridge style filter as what this mask does. It just gives you a little bit more protection. In my opinion, I like it better because I don't have a lot of paint and stuff like that that's coming up, hitting me in the face, and I can still see through it really well. Um, of course, if you do get a lot of overspray on it, it's going to cake up over time, but you can easily replace the lens, and then of course, you're good to go. Uh, the other thing that you've probably seen a lot of us do uh, whenever I'm dipping, and especially whenever we're painting and all that, is going to be the, um, the gloves themselves. So. Uh, we use a lot of latex and nitro gloves. The biggest thing is, is that you definitely want to just make sure that you have a good protection from as you're spraying and things like that, that you don't get stuff on your hands or stuff like that. So then that way um, it helps protect from anything as far as like the chemicals getting into your skin, things like that. So the biggest thing about uh, this video is, is you know, you just want to make sure that you're really safe with the materials and stuff that you're using. So definitely check the MSDS sheets. Uh, now I think they're called the SDS sheets. Uh, but either way, check with the manufacturers, check with the MSDS sheets, um, and, and make sure you're doing it safely. Because I know that, you know, we always all get caught up in okay, yeah, we want it to look cool and everything like that, but you definitely want to think about the future. You want to make sure that whenever you're spraying these coatings, you're being safe and, you know, you're not going to get any, you know, health effects down the road from doing this coating because that's the last thing that anybody wants is that, uh, you know, you want to be sick or, uh, you know, have some type of uh, disease or something like that from uh, inhaling the chemicals or stuff like that. So definitely want to make sure that you're as safe as possible whenever you're doing the hydrographics or anything like that. So uh, I know this is uh, kind of just a, a quick little uh, video on the safety measures that we have, but uh, those are just, like I said, a few that we have. And, um, you know, you definitely want to make sure that you're always staying safe when doing the hydrographics or anything paint related uh, that's, uh, that, that you're pretty much doing. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. Anything hydrographic or uh, paint related, uh, safety related, anything like that, definitely love to hear from you. If you haven't already, we'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related as well. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.